Alright, today is Saturday, August 15th. We did a split on this hive on the 5th, that was 10 days ago. Today we're getting in, checking to see if the split was good. I think in our split that uh, we took our queen with her, with us, which potentially that's a really good thing. Because if we took the old queen with us, we know that they won't swarm. Uh, I want Jay to So I'm hoping not to spend too long in here today. But sometimes it's just inevitable. They're starting to propolize that. Not a bad sign. But I still see no drawn comb up in this honey soap super. Hmm. None at all. Weird. So we're just gonna skip it. Again. They got a lot of bridge comb. I'm gonna take my knife real quick. Do what I can like that. I got into a little bit of honey. See what we got going on in this first frame. Honey and brood. Honey, dark honey, nectar, lots of nectar. I got a fly on my arm. Oh, there's a larva. Yeah. So that means I think we got a queen. <laughs> yep. It's been 10 days. That's a good sign that we have a laying queen. Bring that up closer. We have our queen marking gear, right? Yep. Yep, pearly white larva.
Now, I don't know if any of you could see that, but I just blew on those bees. Bees hate the, I don't know if it's the temperature, the smell, whatever. They don't like your breath. So that's a good way to get them to move. And you don't want them. That's all brood. All brood? On this side. That looks like a lot of brood and nectar. I saw cat tongues in there. I think that's a lot of. Sounds like I'm starting to drip a little bit of nectar by looking at that side. Big drone cups. Drone cup, drone cup. Along the bottom. Nice little pattern at the bottom, a little on the left right there is one. And over on this side some more. <coughs> Woo. That's sumac smoke. Excuse me. Man, there is a lot of propolis. And busy bees. Busy, busy. Waiting for, or preparing for uh, winter. Oh, that's a light frame. Yeah, there's not much going on in that side. Oh, there's a queen. And Mark? she is not marked. Oh, look at that. Healy now. I'm really good at picking up a frame real quick. Put the queen on it. So this is our brand new swarmed queen. Now we're going to have to be careful with her because we don't know if she can still fly or not. That's one. Artificial swarm. Super seed. Oh, where'd she go? I lost her. She's big. Miss B. Found her real quick, lost her real quick.
boy, this side likes to run so clean. Where'd she go? I'm not sure she didn't jump. I'm sorry. I am sorry. Uh-oh. I was balling up right there. Uh-oh. What? Not yet. Thank you. Hey, we're not busting Tyler again, Kay. Well, I don't know where she went. I'm not seeing her, you're not seeing her. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there. Wait, she's elusive. They are getting feisty. Yeah, I'm not happy that I'm doing this. I'm checking out for you. right here? Yeah. Oh, I lost her. Where'd she go? She's light colored. So we're going to mark her and close this cage up because that is enough for me. She is laying. She seems to be laying all right. However, the only thing that I would say is uh, they seem to be fairly low on honey. I'm going to grab this frame out. We, gr we put this frame in last week. It looks like they have little to nothing done. Apparently, I just found out last night, there is an upside and a downside to these uh, comb. What side's up, what side's down, I don't know. Oh, hello. Hello. I'm just gonna put you right on back. You are feisty. You are not nice. -ty. Oh, man. A lot of them just fly. Alright, ma'am. Let her dry for a little bit. Um, where did my hook go? Right there. Right there. On me. I don't like the idea of getting stung on the leg. This does not appease me very well. So 
I'm going to begin putting this back. Because I don't want to be stung. And I think we've seen enough. And this spring, you can go right on back. I'm really happy that uh, we actually have a laying queen. After having just done a split 10 days ago, we're about to come into the fall uh, nectar flow. Which, from the sounds of it, is looking like it's going to be kind of heavy this year. Okay. So, I think so. Alright, ma'am. And down she goes. That was real quick. So originally I had a spacer on here for Propolis Collector. I think that's actually doing more harm than good. So I'm not going to put it back on this time. Because we had been seeing lots and lots and lots of Propolis. But now we're not seeing hardly any. But I've got Propolis Collectors on here for uh, next spring. Propolis Collectors will... Or propolis I can use to scent bait traps so that way we can expand next year without having to do artificial splits from all the research and education that I've done through uh, Dr. Leo Sharshkin uh, with his books Keeping Bees with a Smile or Horizontal Hives with, by George de Leons. Oh, that's upside down. I don't think it's going to make a difference. I'm going to pop less nevertheless. I'll take it down. Uh, I think it was in the book, uh, Keeping Bees with a Smile. It said a swarm will be a much better first year hive than any split that you can do. Because you have all the bees of the right ages, exactly the right age. So they're going to be set to build comb faster, they're going to be set to start laying eggs faster, they're going to be set to do whatever you want faster. So that's why I got this propolis collector here. That is our Michigan Mutt Hive.